Need some fast, cheap, reliable muck coins? Go to MMOXP.com and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniffing out the Madden cheese as always. Got some plays for you today out of the Saints play, but we're not on the offense today. We're in the defensive side today. That's right. We're going to show you some plays out of the 46 Bear Under. Now, the 46 Bear Under is one of the most rare formations in the game. It's only in about four different playbooks. That's the Seahawks, the Saints, I'm sorry, the Saints, the Seahawks, the Cowboys, and the Falcons. But none of those other playbooks have as much plays in it as the Saints. The Saints are the only one that actually has cover two plays, um, which is, you know, just gives you an idea of how rare this formation is. So I'm going to show you some good run stopping plays out of this today. Uh, I'm going to show maybe three, maybe four plays, depending on how long this video goes. They're all very, to me, I can't tell, really tell which one's the best one to stopping the run, uh, but they're all really angled at stopping the run. So if you want to see some more plays that are more specific to stopping the pass, make sure to like hit the like button and let me know in the comment section and I'll put out some plays, uh, some blitzes and stuff like that. Other than that, let's go and let's get right into the video. I'm going to start off with the cover one. So I typically try to find the best stretch play to run these in practice mode because that's mostly what people run. So as far as this play goes, there's really not a ton of adjustments you have to make. I'm going to QB contain. You have one side that's in a QB contain, uh, but the other side's not. So I typically want to QB contain. And if I have my choice, I like to spread these guys here because, like I said, if I'm going against, against guys that are running a lot of stretches, which they are, I typically want to spread... Um, <laughs> spread the linebackers. So this is pretty much it. I'm not going to spread the defensive line. Then I bring the safety down. And then, like I said, I mean, you can see this guy came right in off the edge uh, to shut down that lane. I'm going to go to the replay because I wasn't even really watching. Uh, I know it was the first play, but uh, I, I didn't even get to see it. So like I said, I'm spreading because, like I said, most people, this inside is going to be taken care of. I mean, if it's an inside run, which most people aren't really running very much anyway, I have no real issue with that. But if it's a, if it's a stretch play, which most people like to run, I like to get my, uh, my, my inside guys as far to the edge as possible. So like I said, right there, I mean, he just, I'm pretty sure that's to keep it contained, which is going to have that effect. Pretty much all game. That's what's so special about QB contains is they always maintain this outside leverage. That's the whole point. It's it's it shouldn't be that way. Not every player should be able to do that, but pretty much every player in a QB contain does that. And then you can see right here, he basically just he's either going to force the run back inside, which is where I'm at, or he's going to make the play himself, which is exactly what he does here. So like I said, when it comes to edge runs, QB contains are pretty key. And then, like I said, all I really want to do, I don't want to spread the defensive line. I want to make sure that I spread the linebackers. You can see how it basically just drops this guy down into the gap and replaces this guy, you know, basically to the point where I can move him outside. Because, like I said, if I'm getting a lot of stretch runs, which most people are running, this is the way that I'm going to want to do it. So here we go one more time. Like I said, I'm just going to flow with the play. I get caught up. And you can see the keeping contain once again makes the play. I feel like QB contains are really underutilized when it comes to... Um, to stopping uh, the run. I think people really know how glitchy it is in, in, in the passing game, but I don't think that they know how, how important it is when it comes to stopping, especially edge runs. You can see right here, the edge run doesn't make it. Uh, that time, the, the QB can contain it stopped, but the man coverage is also really good. Like you said, these man coverage corners, they'll do a pretty good job uh, when it comes to... Um, when it comes to stopping uh, the outside because they just they'll play down first it's not like they're dropping back into a cover three or something like that they'll do a pretty good job of maintaining as you can see right here i mean I, i'm gonna make sure that i get outside too as i force the run back inside there i feel these man covered zones do a or, i'm sorry these man covers corners do a pretty good job of stopping the run um you know that's just something that they're, they're not dropping back if it was like an off coverage that typically cover threes and cover fours that play off coverages will have more issue with that uh, as you can see i mean they're playing down first so it's it's pretty consistent that they're going to shut down the edge so the last play i'm going to show is the cover two which to me is definitely the best one and you have two options here you have the the cover two press and then you have the the dogs fire i like the base one which is the cover two press the cover the dogs two fire is a little bit better of a pass defense you can do a little bit more blitzing wise like i said like for part two if you want to see that so the cover two is probably my favorite uh defensive run stopping play in general, I love cover twos, but in this formation especially, because there's a few more things you can do with this play that you can't do with the other ones. Number one is you can press. And when you press a cover two in, in, in a condensed offensive formation like this, I don't have any fear that, you know, certain formations, if they're more spread, you can get in trouble pressing with cover twos. But in this type of formation, which, you know, a lot of people will run, a lot of run heavy people will run, you know, extra tight ends and stuff like that. You don't have to worry about that as much. 
And you can see these cornerbacks, they're they're just in right in line. I mean, they're right where they need to be uh, to make any edge, you know, any stops on the edge. The last thing I would do with that too as well is I would also hard flat them like I've been doing. But you can see, I mean, we just have the, the formation is just so much it's so tight. It almost looks like a goal line. It almost looks like you have like a five three three goal line look. Uh, but it's you know, you have really good coverage. You're gonna have really good coverage with this. I, I don't tip in this particular play, I don't think you really have to spread the linebackers like I was in previous plays. But uh, but this is just, you know, this is all you really need to do. Just just press and and uh, do an underneath coverage, and you'll have some really good run defense. So like I said, I'm not going to do too much here. I'm just going to, I mean, the defense is going to handle it for me. You can see there's no lanes to run over there. So like I said, really simple setup. I'm hitting Y or triangle, then down on the left stick. Then I'm hitting Y or triangle down on the right stick, and that's pretty much the look. Like I said, I want to walk these safeties back just a little bit because I'm not trying to get home run hit here, you know. Like, that can happen. Cover twos can be a little susceptible if the safeties are in tight. That's pretty much every defense. Oh, I forgot the QB contain as well. I want that QB contain because of that, um, you know, that's going to help with those edge runs as well. But ultimately, this is the look. And you can, like I said, you can play right in the box. I typically don't have to make the play, but you can see at the very least it's spread everything out. Like on the first play, I didn't have to really do anything, and I don't really anticipate having to do much uh, when it comes to this. I'm kind of just playing the safety role, making sure nothing gets behind me. But ultimately, I mean, if I have to, like I said, the play gets stretched out and I have to make the play, I know where the play is going to go at the very least. One of the things that's really good about this defense is it makes uh, the offensive plays predictable. There's no real gaps. There's no real uh, opportunities along this line outside of you know just taking it to the to the to the widest point which is outside of the defense entirely but there's no real gaps along the line so any inside runs should pretty much get stopped in their tracks and since i know that the only real opportunity is outside it makes it easy for me to know where to go so i just flow with the play there's nothing on me there's no blockers on me which is also what you want as a user defender you want all the the you know the, these are basically my blockers you know what I mean? They're, they're going to take up the blocks so that I can roam free. There's nothing touching me. All I have to do is really flow with the play. Now, if you're not really good at user defending, uh, if you have you know trouble, if you, if, if you might miss this tackle, then it's a problem. But as a, as a user defender, this is what I want. I want predictability, and I want to be able to run cleanly. And that's what the, a play like this, that's what the, this type of alignment gives me. They all get blocked up, but there's nothing touching me, and I can just mirror the running back to the point of attack. So I think ultimately, like I said, I like this play because it's a little bit more user-friendly. The first play that I put out probably does a better job of stopping the play without me, but it's really up to you which way you like to play. I, I personally like both these plays. I like the cover one, and I like the, the, the man coverage, which you guys, I mean, if you watch my gameplays, you know those are the two defenses that I run the most anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to stop the video there. If you guys want to see more plays uh, out of this defensive formation, let me know in the comment section with the like button. I'll do that next. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. Wish it out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.